What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, we are going to talk about the Honus Wagner collection that I teased in my last video. Some tips and tricks that I can give you guys on how to get this collection done. This collection is an absolute beast of a collection as far as how difficult it is to complete, but I do have a couple of uh, notes, and I'll just kind of give you guys a guide on if you're thinking about going about it. If you haven't done the Live Series collection, and uh, you're thinking about doing one of these, I would recommend doing the live series collection over this one uh, just because Willie Mays is still the best card in the game. Hornsby's really good. Rodriguez is really good. And also, the live series cards are as cheap as they've ever been, um, to be honest with you. And they're just going to get cheaper, especially the 85 through 89 diamonds because BR, uh, normally it's 12 wins to get a diamond, uh, 12 and 0 to get the diamond in the pack. You will be able to get an 85 through 89 diamond after nine wins uh, starting tomorrow at the recording of this video. So those cards are going to be cheaper than they have ever been. Um, so I would recommend doing the live series first if you're going to do one of these collections if you haven't done them. But let's get into this collection. When you go through it, the ones, I mean, these aren't too bad. Outside of the uh, the All Star collection was pretty difficult for me. I think it's like 80 cards that you need, and uh, there's a lot in here. Knowing where all the cards come from is a very very good way of knowing um, which cards to buy out of this to do the sets. Um, if you've done the entire Live Series collection, it's going to help you out drastically too because you're going to have a bunch of cards from that also if you've done some team affinities it's going to help you out from that but for example tory hunter is one of the cards that you can get from the xp reward path so there's a ton of them out there and you guys can see i have him but i also don't same with steam finley with these cards you know they go for around six to five thousand if you put in bids on all these right the diamonds are actually much better value than the golds if you put in a bid for this, you get this card at, you know, let's say 5, 7, 21, okay? Once you get them, you can go and collect them, and then you go into your inventory after that, and you go and you quick sell him. So really, you're only paying 720 stubs for that card. And once you've collected the card, make sure you collect the card first, though. Uh, once you've collected a card, you don't have to keep them in your inventory. You can quick sell them afterwards. So you're going to want to do that a lot, especially on these diamonds, you know, that um, you can get for a little bit cheaper. You know, get them for a little bit over 5000 quick sell them for 5000 Now you've only put in 720 Some of them you're going to want to do team collections, or I mean, excuse me, team affinities. Now the team affinities, you can't quick sell those cards or those diamonds, but sometimes you can get multiple uh, for doing that. You know, you can get an all-star Kyle Seeger and you can get an all-star Jay Buhner, but you can't quick sell that. So just keep that in mind. But some of them will be worth it to do, especially if you only, like in this case, I remember for this one, I had a lot of innings with the Mariners for whatever reason. So all I needed to do was do this one set to get over 50. And uh, for these, you know, you might have a lot of extra cards being built up. I know going into this collection, I had about 300k subs and I was just opening up 10 pack bundles and I was just pretty much, I had nothing to spend my stubs on. And I was starting to build up a lot of like extra, you know, commons and bronzes for these. So it was easy to do those. Um, in the past, the team affinities were good to, to, to get the team affinities done quickly. The good cards to buy to do that would have been like these 84s that weren't part of the live series because they really had no place to go. But now that they're in a lot of these Honus Wagner sets are going up for more. So what I'd recommend now is going after the live series, like 83 golds that'll get you done with the um, team affinities very, very fast, like Presley or Asuna or Matt Olson. A lot of those cards are very, very down in price right now. So they would be the move over like this Alomar who, you know, is a part of this new Honus Wagner set and you wouldn't want to necessarily do that. Now the golds that are the golds are typically going for like I don't know, like three thousand to four thousand. There are a couple of them that go for more, such as uh this D Gordon. You gotta think back to where, you know, look how expensive this card is. It's almost ten thousand. This card was from an event. 
Um, that was the only way that you could get him. So he was obviously a lot more expensive now because it's a lot more rare to get him. And a lot of people didn't play this event either because it was just a gold reward. So a lot of people just didn't even play it. Let alone playing it, getting the card, and then having it available to sell. So that card's like way, way more expensive. So watch out for those cards. That's usually the story behind them compared to like just your regular, every run of the mill, all-star gold like this King Griffey Senior, you know, 4K to 3K. And these ones kind of suck because now you got to buy this one for 3K and you can only quick sell it for 1K after you collect it. So you can see why the diamonds are the ones that you want to go after first. Um, just because, you know, yeah, you have to pay 5K for it, but then you can go and quick sell it and it's only going to cost you 7K. So that's like one of the main things you need to pay attention to is going for these diamonds. And then again, with the team affinities, you can't quick sell them, but you might be closer to getting them. They might only cost you like 2K or 3K or so. Uh, when I first saw this collection, like, you know, I first saw it released, I, I actually audibly started laughing at how difficult it was going to be. Especially when you think that all the diamonds that I have quick sold to get here to this point, this signature series collection is an absolute whole other level of difficulty. Um, uh, there are some of them that go for cheap. Aubrey Huff, uh, Whitey Ford goes for cheap that, you know, you're going to buy and then you're going to quick sell for like 5k. I mean the bill Mazeroski to quick sell that card for 5k. It's just like, you have to though, if they're not going to even make your squad, I need to quick sell this Russell Martin to be honest with you. So it's, it's a really, really difficult collection. Um, you really need to take advantage of. Of quick selling though like if you're not going to use the card quick selling is really important as you guys can see i can get my 5k subs back so you're probably going to have to bite the bullet on some of these cards and do the quick selling i know it's really really tough to do that but it's a good way to get your subs back especially if you're not going to have them if they're not going to make your main squad um, it's something that you really really want to consider doing you're gonna have to play a lot of battle royale to get your stubs up You're gonna have to, like playing events like this event is crucial crucial to play Because you can get two sig series from it You can get the Lee Smith and you can also get the Edgar Martinez and lock those in for free Kuz's new moment is going to be a Bartolo Colon sig series and uh, that's definitely, I mean, that's a must get if you're going after this to lock that in. Absolute must get. You also get a signature series. I think it was, uh, it's the Wainwright from Twins moment. So that was a, that's another must get. Um, as far as some of these are moments as well. So for example, which one is this? Uh, this is not the one I want. And you guys can see again, like a lot of these 87s I went and got. Uh, out of the market and resold those are the best ones by far to do by far i mean only like 500 700 subs to get them done that's nothing when you think about it um there's cards like this giles card that came from the program these go for a little bit more you know those like 100 rounds or 200 rounds on the program those go for a little bit more um you know definitely put it put in the orders as much as you can i mean if you're gonna buy now that will add up if you because there's so many cards you know going three thousand on a card that'll really really start to add up or just try to avoid those cards and go after some of the other ones as far as like you know this george springer um he's got moments so if you want to put in the time to go after the moments you can for a couple of them, I went and did like the Sony partners. Like I went and got this Bryce Harper for the hardware set. These take, I did for Mills and I did it for uh, Shelfie recently um, to get a couple all-star cards. These take between like one and two hours to do. So be prepared to spend some time on them <laughs> to do them. You know, maybe watch a stream or watch TV or watch YouTube or whatever you'd like to do in the background and get them done. They're not particularly difficult. They just take up like one to two hours. So um, there's some of the other ones, you know, there's that Chipper Jones you can give for free, Molitor, Walker, Springer, Wagner. If you're really on a budget, you know, go through and spend the time to get them done. As far as the card itself, the card itself is absolutely beast, in my opinion. Um, it's just a total, total beast to go ahead and get 123, 125, 88, 89, 125 vision, 91 fielding, 90 arm strength with 96 speed. This is a 
basically uh, <clears throat> an incredible, incredible. Um, I would use him at shortstop. You can play him anywhere. He can literally play anywhere, uh, except for I guess he doesn't have second base and he doesn't have catcher, but he can pretty much play anywhere. I want to play him at shortstop, though, um, for sure. He's got a good swing um, from what I can tell, from what I've seen. He's he's going to be a, one hell of a player. It's just this is a very, very difficult uh, collection to go after that the all-star is really hard the breakout is not too bad just pay attention like this harvey's actually really cheap right now he's getting a little bit more expensive i go i'd suggest you guys go pick him up uh pretty quickly take advantage of those 87 to 89s in the xp reward path take advantage of the team affinities when you can take advantage of the moments Try to avoid the cards that came out in events. Um, like even there's another Babe Ruth I could have got from moments. And uh, think back to where these cards uh, came from originally. You're probably along. Like here's a really good example of a card. I'm sure it's super expensive. Wow, it's gone down quite a bit. Um, still, that's not very bad um, at all. That card went down quite a bit. Um, I was expecting that to be like 10K. So that's really nice. But, you know, if buy your golds, quick sell as much as possible. That's going to be key so you can keep recycling your stubs. And once you get that gold collected, like I said, you can just get rid of them and put them back out there. The program ones aren't too bad. Um, they're a little bit up, but they're not too bad. And, uh, you know, take advantage of, advantage of the moments as much as you can. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I have. This veterans one so far it wasn't too bad i'm interested to know if you guys are going to go after this let me know down in the comments below if you guys are going to go after this i first like i said when i saw it and how imposing it was i did start laughing but i also realized like i was just wasting stubs anyways like i had 300k i had nothing to spend it on uh, my team was pretty much set with what i wanted to unless i wanted to start buying like extraneous cards i didn't need you know and then um, I was buying like 10 pack bundles. So if you're going to play the game for a long time, I would say just go after it because it's going to be like a really, really beast card. But just know it's really, really difficult. It's not easy, especially collecting these signatures down the stretch is not going to be easy because they are very, very expensive. Like right now I'm trying to decide like who I want to spend 30k on that uh, for a card I'm not going to use but oh yeah the, the other thing I would say is lock in your signature series cards last especially your expensive signature series you know the Gibsons the Garrigs the Almards um the Jansons the Wagners cards like that this Gagne card that goes for like I'm not locking that in until the very end in case I need to sell these cards or if I can possibly get other cards through moments that we haven't seen and you know new programs it's this is something that's going to take a little bit of time to complete but i do think it is worth it to complete it is fun to complete i want to complete it just so i can say that i did complete it too um so that's something i'm definitely going after but let me know down in the comment section below if any of this helped out uh if i can think i'm sure i'll think of something that i didn't say in this video that I'll probably put down in the comment section if I couldn't uh, if I couldn't remember it. But let me know if you guys are gonna go after it. I hope this helps you out just a little bit. Um, if it helped you out a little bit, drop a like, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.